it's me back with another video. What if Naruto was a Tsuki? Recap. I did the last Zabuza mission. I did the encounter with the Sand Shinobis. Gara. I forget someone's names, but. And I did the first and second stage of the two names of Lambs. And. Um, I did some research. Like I said, it has been like two to three years since I watched Naruto. Like Shippenden, I mean, like, not like Naruto, because if it was Naruto, it probably would have been like four years, maybe eight. Not eight, but like five. But, yeah. So, I don't have the best memory of it, because somebody was in the comments like, You don't know anything about Naruto on one of my videos. But I think he was referencing whatever I said. Um, he has, um, wood style, and I kept, I forgot the Senju's name, so I have to, kept on saying Wood Court Clan, and stuff like that, and the dude probably got me confused, but I knew my mistake, and then I think in, like, the third or the second video, I said that I gave him Senju cells, and his left and his, like, right arm or left arm, something like that. But yeah, just to tell you guys if you guys caught that on too, too. Oh my. But yeah, I just tried to break a tree, so I'm kind of tire tired. Like I put a metal pole and try to split it, but it didn't work. But yeah, like I've been doing, I've been like changing timelines and stuff because and all that, but. Also, Madara's actual eye ability was, like, time rewind, apparently. But we don't know the full limits. I was going through my memories. Then I was like, how about I just search up Hashirama versus Madara. And it showed up him rewinding. So, if you guys see this video, comment down in this video saying to do the proper what if for what if... Like, make, do the Deku one again, but give him a different actual Madara's ability and stuff like that. And the Reincarnation one, if you guys want me to redo that one. But I'll finish the one that I'm already doing. Just comment down below in this video. This video might be coming up during Christmas. Or on the day of Christmas, I'm not completely sure. But also some, I know this dude's been wanting me to do what if Deku had King's power, but I said that do it after Christmas and all that. But yeah, so get back into the what if. Like in the last video, I was saying that Naruto's trying to control his power without the seal. So like I said, he only has 10% of his power, which in chakra levels, I'll make him as much as Sasuke in Baruto, which they still nerfed him. So, like, nerfed Sasuke in Baruto, where he can go into dimensions, but he'll run out of chakra instantly. And he'll get sent back or something like that, I'm pretty sure. But that's with 10%, so he, once he gets all his chakra back, and actually uses his complete abilities with his Renegon or Rene Shonagon which I did give him time stop because of it and once he completes his eye I'm going to make it red like a complete red Shonagon or Rene Shonagon whenever it goes full power so it has been 10 months and everybody gets there they're all rested up. Some did training. Some just sat down eating chips. And some ate barbecue and stuff. But. Now. The battles start. So the battles is. The same. Of course. But maybe just like a few more people. Doing the mission. Um, few. Yeah a few more because. It's more widespread stuff and all that. But. Yeah. So, I'll just do Sasuke's battle. 
but Sasuke, I did amp up him a lot with Chakra and stuff like that. So, he fights against that dude in Zord Chakra, and he already has amped up Chakra from training. And I'll say Naruto, instead of making the fruit, the Zoro like fruit stuff, I'll say he has an elixir, which I kind of got through the actual moon goddess that Kaguya is based after where she used the elixir, but also he created one, which would permanently amp, amp up somebody's chakra. So I will make his chakra four times than normally is making him. Kakashi levels. So, when the dude tries to absorb him, he's dodging, weaving, not even activating his shining on, and he kicks him in the chest. And that pretty much hurts him a lot. And he's like, You brat! And that's whenever you see Sasuke already up to his face, punching him, flipping over, kicking him with both his feet, knocking him out. With Lee seeing that he even got faster than he already was and all that. Stronger and everything. According to the last time they battled. No, it... I'll just do Sakura's. Sakura's, if you literally just add a little train into Sakura. Because, you know, in my personal opinion, would be stronger... But they pulled some bullcrap where she had like a split personality. Oh no. That's the only reason why she won, but that is true. Because Eno does have a gig against Kai. As I don't think, I'm pretty sure some people are thinking that Eno should control. Or, um, those people's abilities are not gig against Kai's. They're special abilities that are passed down. So in theory, Naruto can learn them. And stuff like that. And I also learned that Naruto can actually gain other Geeky Genkais by absorb eating a lot of chakra and from him up. And stuff like that. And it seems like the fruits amp up Otsutsukis more than regular people. And stuff like that. That was just something I seen how if somebody else would have ate it, it probably wouldn't do the same thing. But yeah. But she comes in with a cha. Actually strong enough to put have chakra around her fist. Punching the ground, destroying it. Coming up to Eno. Punch her in the face with Eno getting knocked out, of course. Now it's not too. And Kiba's I don't think he has a Gekka Genkai either. Because if it was a Geka Genkai, there would have been a chance that Kakashi would have it. Because Kakashi is half whatever he is. I forget what their name is. And his father didn't have a clan. He was just one dude with white hair. Pretty much. And darker skin, I think. Because I think he was like tannish. I like... I don't really know, but... So, yeah. So, Kiba tries to rush at him. And how Kiba's techniques kind of work, he's kind of, in my head, it feels like he's adding chakra to his body to enhance it. But not outside his body. To enhance it further. Plus, his clan is, I think, physically stronger than most. But he jumps at him with, I'll say, Naruto little bag in the back made of red energy pops open and the server pulls out a ice looking ball and it turns into a mirror keep it getting trapped in the mirror this is whenever he sticks his hand in the mirror grabbing Kiba with Akramar trying to attack him with the beast thing and all that human mimicry and all that but what he does is that whenever he grabs all of his chakra, pretty much, he throws them at, he throws the mirror at Gramarhu. But what happens, instead of getting sucked in, 
he releases Kiba with the same needles. With Kiba protecting the dog, of course. Getting hit with a whole bunch of them. And that's where he gets pretty much knocked out by a whole bunch of needles. Medical ninja ninjas come in. Heals him up. He wins, but wherever he walks up, Hanata doesn't give it to him. Because even if he did have the scratch, it would have instantly healed because his chakra's way more stronger than most and all that. But yeah. And it seems like, I, I'm not sure if they can make, um, you know, the orbs, the Sage of Six Path orbs, chakra orbs, I forget what they're called. But yeah, this is where I'm just going to go on because there's nothing else to do. Everybody else is to fight the same. And because, no, Hinata wouldn't give him anything because, because she hasn't got the Ninja way at all and never seen him struggle. So that would mean, you know what, a way to counter that, actually. I just never thought of that till now, but I'll say Lee, which if I make Naruto leave the village whenever he's younger, I just use Lee instead of Naruto. But this, but Lee would have no talent and all that. So Ashley, she'll be about the same level. So she still gets the whole palm. But bef I'll say, even f before the heart palm's gonna happen, um, Lee comes down with his late weights getting completely destroyed. Because this would also cause cause Lee to be stronger too, to protect her in the future and stuff like that. So I'll say lose 150 of himself. So he would be faster too. But he would grab. I think their battle happens first. But don't have to do his fight now because he would be even faster. Grabbing him, stopping him. So I'll do the whole Gara fight also. So it's the same fight pretty much at the beginning with Lee showing off his weight. But I'll say his weights are even heavier but this is when he act he takes off his legs and he starts punching him with guard and the whole sand little barrier around his face but I say because Lee has the stamina and the speed of course even more amped that would mean his strength too I say he would be able to push Gara to the one tail state but before his leg and arm would be crushed, I'll say they're proctors, because he's about to kill Lee, not just break his limbs, would come up and pretty much grab and restrain him with, I'll say, Naruto shooting out his fishing rod, because Shinkaku is still sealed, but because the seal was so weak that even the Shikaku can talk through him, the weakest tail beast. And I would just say that he's able to steal half of um, the one tails from him. And people notice this, and this is whenever a small little thing appears in his hand, looking like the Shinkaku. But this one, instead of being mean, this one's just loud and nauseous because if you guys see him if he just come out of being sealed he would be like hey he kind of reminds me of Mike Guy not Mike Guy but Mike like Mike from My Hero so I'll say his personality's a little like that without the meanness and all that but that still would leave half of the mean part inside Gara. This is one of the San Shinobi would see that that he can literally take away the Shinkaku, but half of the Shinkaku is still inside of him, and they know this. This causes um, Orochimaru to be more intrigued with him because the Orochimaru doesn't have to heal, be healed, so it also means Kabuto is still inside the game. And this is whenever he would take the. Uh, 
Shikaku would know the nine tails inside of him, but the four nine tails. So he would go in and pretty much meet the Shinkaku. Or Shinkaku and Kurama would meet full Kurama, so he wouldn't be as mean, but he wouldn't be as nice as Minato's for so eager to help pretty much. So he won't be like really rude. He would actually talk more likely instead of just blowing them off instantly and stuff. That's when the Shinkaku will be like, Hey, Big Nine, doesn't that kid remind you of the old man? Hee hee. And that's when Verkrom will be like, Shut up, Shinkaku. I'll say, because he is sealed, so he can't really hit him away like he would have did and push him out of the mindscape. But this would cause the Shinkaku half of it at least stay inside of Naruto without a seal so he can go in and out with Will and stuff like that so yeah but Gar would pass out after this because the Shikaku wouldn't have enough energy strength to go through the seal and talk to him so that would cause him to be a little nicer but not too nice and stuff I'll see the Shinkaku in his hands with all the leaf or all the sand shinobi looking at it in the leaf. And he like Shinkaku's being nice and say hello to people. And that's when they learn that actual tail beasts have personalities. And they're not just balls of chakra. Which Ujimaru figures out from seeing this, so he thinks it's be harder to control the nine tails because he is the strongest. And he might have a different personality than this one. But I'll say he'll go with Gara. And Gara will be in bed. And Gara will be asleep, having sort of a nightmare of him saying, Get this monster out of me. It would cause him to still wake up because while asleep, the Shinkaku would have enough energy or strength to go with into his mind still. This is whenever you see Naruto reach inside Gara, going past his chakra, ultimately grabbing the Shikaku and tearing it out. And this would also cause Gara to be stronger, because according to everything like this, I'm guessing Shippenin where, um, you know, the one tails get taken out, apparently Gara got stronger somehow, some bullcrap. Apparently, even as a kid, he can still kill his father, and he got stronger, but his father comes back and can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but this would also make Gara stronger. But even stronger than him going into Shikaku mode is what it pretty much stated, pretty much. So this is when the Shikaku would merge together back together but him knowing that he can literally take away his existence but he'll be nicer but he will be rude he'll be rude pretty much to the nine tails but not him because he kind of made let him roam if he wants to but he's not gonna do that because he can pretty much get sucked up and resealed is what naruto tells him and this is where i'm gonna leave it all see you in the next video